Top 10 bad things about having a summer uh, share with uh, time share with Darth Vader. Here we go, number 10. Claims those long distance calls to the Death Star aren't his. Uh, number 9. Uses Jedi powers to shake up your beard just before you open it. Number 8. He's always accusing you of hiding his asthma inhaler. Number 7. Claims he paid you the rent a long, long time ago. And number 6. Dances around in nothing but cape and cowboy hat while doing Darth Brooks routine. Number five, for once he could use force to lift his wet towel off the couch. Number four, that scary music that plays when he enters a room gets old real fast. Uh, you feel like an idiot saying, no, Darth isn't here, he's on the ice planet Hoth. Remember, remember Bonanza, the, the little Joe and yeah. Hop Singh and Hoth and Hop Singh. Adam? Yeah, right. Uh, number two, not easy cleaning burnt Ewok fur off the barbecue grill and... The number one bad thing about having a summertime share with Darth Vader constantly doing his lame James Earl Jones impression. There he is. Well, honey, what about you? I what? Mean, are there any fun, you know, fantasy type things? No. Come on, you gotta have one. Nope. Ross, you know what? What? If you tell me, I might do it. <clears throat> okay. Um, did you ever see um, Return of the Jedi? Yeah. Do you remember the scene with um, Jabba the Hutt? Well, Jabba had as, as his prisoner, um, Princess Leia. Uh... Princess Leia was wearing this, um, gold bikini thing. It was pretty cool. Yeah, oh, Princess Leia in the gold bikini? Oh, every guy our age loved that. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's huge, yeah. That's the moment when, when, you know, she stopped being a princess and she became, like, you know, a woman, you know. <laughs> Did you ever do the, the Leia thing? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> really? That, that great, huh? No, it's just that I got this new pager and I have it on vibrate. <laughs> Skywalker to come rescue me. <laughs> there he is. Okay, here we go. I am Java's prisoner, and you. I have a really weird look on your face. <laughs> what? I mean, what is it? Did I get it wrong? Did I get the hair wrong? Oh, wait, did you just picture it differently? What? what? No, 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 it's, um, it's not you, it's, um, it's... Well, what is it? Come on, sweetie, you're kind of, like, freaking me out here. I hate Chandler. The bastard ruined my life. Okay. We're astronauts, eh? Astronauts? Yeah. Good day, Houston. This is Apollo. We're on the moon having our hair done over. Uh, good day, Apollo. This is Houston. We have you on visual scope, eh? And like, oh, aliens! Arm poked on torpedoes. Okay, get ready for Arms. lunar war. Arm phasers. Arms. Here and comes Darth Vader using Grecian formula. Over. Fire one. <laughs> And fire two, eh? Okay, we're gonna go out and get some stuff after our hair. They're being invaded Take by off. crabs. Take oh, off. Take off. Just in my space suit. Get away. Take off. You're wrecking my hair. Come on. Take off. Honey, honey, are you okay? I am better. Disturbance in the force. You just fell down the stairs. Oh, be careful. Watch what she said. I think his ankle is broken. Oh, I'll call the doctor. What the hell did I trip over? My toolbox. Skipper, 
Things have changed so much while we were on the island. They used to make beautiful movies with beautiful costumes. Ginger, you'd look good in anything. But they think I'd look better in nothing. Nothing? Nothing but a smile. Oh, a big smile or a small smile? What difference does it make? Well, if it's a really big Get smile, again, you never... never mind. I guess that producer figures that's the only way to make money. Pictures with dirty words and no clothes. Well, maybe he's right. I've seen a lot of movies since we've been rescued. I saw Star Wars. They have little spaceships with red lights and blinking green lights, and they have this big flight. And how about the robot, R2-D2? Well, there's nothing dirty in that. R2-D2 is a four-letter word. I think we should call it a night. No, Alice, please, that would be rude. Just think how we'd feel if we went to visit their planet and no one was home. <laughs> Yeah, I think we should stay. I'd ha hate to come in here to work tomorrow morning and find a little note that said, Sorry we missed you. Well, if you guys are willing, I'll stay. I think I'd better go. Oh, good. <laughs> Chloe says if I break curfew one more time, I'm grounded. Well, may the force be with you. Good night, everybody. Good night. And if you ain't seen the movie Star Wars, you've been living in the other space. <laughs> Stan? Star Wars was the movie that made lots of money. Some of it going to its composer, John Williams. First tribute we're paying tonight. So, here is the music from the Star Wars. <laughs> sure flies when you're having a good time. And that's it for the show tonight and our special tribute to composer and Lutonia's own fine son, John Williams. Oh. We just hope you had as much fun listening to the music as we did playing it for you. And with that, the Happy Wanderers Band! Oh, let's hear it for you. Come on! Aren't they great? Week oh, after man. week. Just great. And this special thanks to the Knights of Lutonia for coming down to show your banquet with us. I'm glad you did that, as glad as we were to be able to play the music of John Williams for you. And um, a special thanks once again, of course, to Miss Vilviachki oh. <laughs> for providing us with the cabbage rolls and the coffee. Mm, they sure are good. Now tell me, Stan, how does she do it week after week? And she's one amazing cook. <laughs> so, until next week... I'm Yash Mengi. And I'm Stan Schmengi. And, and we're, we're the, the Happy Wanderers. Ah, here we have um, the uh, top ten list for tonight. The category, top ten Christmas tips from General Electric. Compiled, as always, at the home office in Milwaukee. Here we go. Top 10 Christmas tips from General Electric. Number 10. If one light bulb in your house goes out, replace them all. <laughs> Number 9. Fluorescent tubes make great Star Wars swords for the kids. Number 8. Now, this is interesting, Paul. Did you see George Lucas? you know what he's doing? Now, what is George? Well, he's, su he's suing, I guess, the United States government or the Defense Department or somebody because he doesn't like them using the name of his film when they're talking about the Star Wars defense system. Really? <laughs> well, that, may, that makes sense to me. Geez, you could have knocked Paul over with a feather there. He's, Paul, get a hold of yourself. I've never seen anybody... Uh, do we have smelling salts for Paul, please? He's, that makes sense to me. If, if a guy, you know, if they were calling it the Paul Schaefer missile defense system. Paul, Paul, please, you're still in shock. Relax. <laughs> Ah, uh, so, so now if the suit wins, they're gonna they're, uh, they'll change it, and they've already got a name picked out. So if the if the suit goes, uh, they win. Oh, never mind. It'll be the uh, it'll be the Sound of Music defense system. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our good friend, Mr. Paul Schaefer, he's over here. 
Well, thank you, one and all, for ruining yet another plot for me. I'll be off now. But before I go, something I'd like to share with you. In Citizen Kane, Rosebud is the name of his sled. In Murder on the Orient Express, everyone did it. And Luke Skywalker's father is Darth Vader. Ha! <laughs> yeah, why does the guy tell us something we don't know, huh? Darth Vader is Luke's father? <laughs> You know, Darth Vader cannot be Luke Skywalker's father. They don't have the same last name. That's right, Woody. I'd better call out the Imperial Guard. Stop it, Mr. Peterson. You're scaring me. Sir, we're almost there. Last case before Mr. Edwards. Only one man to midnight. It doesn't make any difference. I'm never going to make it. I'm 318 pounds behind. Uh, Hugh versus Riley, petty theft. Sweet job, the dog. <laughs> I make you what? 450? Lower! The, you gave me a mountain! Uh, top 10 surprising revelations in the new Columbus movie. Here we go, number 10. Uh, Columbus cheated at shuffleboard, number 9. Uh, had touch football games on deck between guys who thought Earth was round and guys who thought Earth was flat. <laughs> Number eight, boat was full of exciting celebrity stowaways. Number seven, right before spotting land, Columbus quenched thirst with can of refreshing Pepsi. The category, top ten surprising revelations in the new Columbus, Columbus movie. Moon. Number six, uh, had robot friend named R2-D2. <laughs> Now, meet NBC's newest must-see TV Thursday star. Banana de Leone. Oh, ow, ow. She's on the naked truth on NBC on Thursday night after Jerry. <laughs> Her name is Taya. There you go. It rhymes with Princess Leia. Can't you see? No, it's spelled that way. Don't pronounce it T. Ask my parents. Taya Leone. Thursday night on NBC. Last week, Alex and Isabel fell in love. Last night, they got married. The one with the body? That had nothing to do with it. And today, they're learning about her family. This is Chewie. Hi, Luke Skywalker. His family. Surprise! Who is it? Did we come at a bad time? And each other. Isabel Fuentes, you're the one. Fools rush in. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm pregnant. Rated PG-13. Opens everywhere Valentine's Day. I mean, we have such a good time together. He's so funny and so sweet, and I'm not attracted to him at all. Still? No. It's driving me crazy. I mean, in every other way, he's like the perfect guy. He has everything. Plus, he actually has everything. Life-sized Imperial Stormtroopers from Sharper Image? Two. Wow, can Joey and I put them on and fight? You, you had your teeth whitened. Kevin, I got my breasts done. Yeah, I know. I just wanted you to say it first. <laughs> Man, what a great boob job of the hut. Star Wars, that is a great movie. My favorite movie is Implant of the Apes. <laughs> so, uh, Kevin, you want to see him? <laughs> this is some kind of test, isn't it? <laughs> The Duke and Duchess of Scotland Yard calls England's most notorious thieves got away with a million pounds in five pound note. Five pound notes? <laughs> oh, hi, Jack. Oh, hi, Jack. Uh, uh, evening, old chap. Uh, hi, Duke. Luke, Lando, Luzas, lastly, Luke. 